Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flight Deck. Today I will show you how you can build this flight recorder and warning segment of your Boeing 737 after overhead pedal. I was thinking if it is worth to make a dedicated video for this panel segment because it is a really easy to make panel compared to all the other segments that I have done until now. But at the moment my IRS section is taking a little bit longer than I expected and so I thought I can make a separate video from this build here. As I have said, it is very easy to build. Just two um, layers of acrylic and all the cutouts have the same size and the elements are just glued or screwed onto this top panel here. And there is something that you should take care when you mount the buttons on the top with the screw and you tighten it here on the surface, then you have to take care that you don't damage your lacquer here. So I will um, lay a washer underneath so that I don't turn the screw directly on the surface here and then I think this should be fine. And because it is an easy to make panel you uh, could think about if this could be the first panel segment that you built when you are starting your after overhead panel and you haven't done uh, too many other segments before. So let's have a look to the components that you need for this build. You will need the front and back plate, an orange annunciator, a big on off switch, a black switch guard, two engraved plates, yes you told me these are stickers on the rear panel, and four black push buttons. Yeah, now we have the situation that I need black push buttons and I only have left over these green ones and my airbrush pistol... Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait! For an easier mounting of the components I screwed the two panels together to align them. I established a shared ground connection. Now when the panel is assembled we can test all the components. Not too many devices to test here. We have five buttons and a LED. I have configured them in MobiFlight already. You can see this here in Extras Settings. In the MobiFlight Modules tab I have only connected my Arduino Eye at the moment and here you can see the devices 14 up to 19, which are most uh, buttons, except of uh, the device i15, which is an LED. If you want to know how exactly to configure devices in MobiFlight, then watch my dedicated video for this. I will go into every step here in detail. For the moment, it is enough that you know I have configured the devices here. And the configurations are made here. I have one output configuration. 
i15 for the LED and the five input configurations here i14 to 19 for the five buttons. In ProSim, you can find all the configurations here in the config tab and configuration and there in the combined config tab. Again, when you are searching for a configuration in MobiFly, there are lots of possibilities where you can uh, insert values. Then just use the search function. I have done this. You can see here uh, we are searching for flight recorder, for example, and I'm typing in flight and it lets me uh, sum values over. And here in the measure lenses category, you find a switch and down here we can see the uh, button we are searching for flight recorder test my switch is uh, in the normal position off i didn't want to make a configuration for an off state of the button i want to make a configuration where um, power is flowing through the button and this would be in the test position and so i have done a configuration for this here with an fsu ipc offset all the other switches can also be found here in this category. And for example, here you see the indicator, the only LED we are configuring flight recorder off. It is also configured with an FSU IPC offset. So I have now prepared running in the background. And now let's see if everything is working. In MobiFlight, I click run here and to test uh, this flight recorder button and the LED. I have open ProSim display. And now I can click here on the annunciator and this should uh, start a test function. It is illuminated and so is the um, LED on our panel. So this is working. Now we come to the big switch here. Opening isn't configured, of course. And now we go to the test state. And you can see the uh, switch is going to test mode. And when I go back to normal, then you can see it goes back to normal and the uh, guard is closed. Testing these push buttons is a little bit more tricky because it isn't animated here in um, the displays tab but we can search for them here in prosim here in the michelangelo's category we search for um, the mac airspeed warning test number one and two here we have them both mac airspeed warning test number one and two the state is off for these two buttons and when I now push them so number one then you can see test number one is changing uh, its state to pushed and when I release it it goes to off again now let's test number two there we have the pushed state and releasing it changes it to off now let's come to the style warning test number one and two here we have style test one and two. They are both off. Number one is changing to push and number two changes to push two. So the whole panel is working. And here it is at its final place. As I said before, a good panel to start when you want to test your abilities in making panels or want to find out if this could be something for you. So just some switches and an LED and you're ready to go. I don't know how often I said this before, the end is near of my production of the complete overhead. Two last sections missing. Here the IRS is coming up next. And then I hope I can bring this heavy beauty finally down to the simulator. During this time, you can find all the files that you need to cut out and engrave your own panel segments for your overhead in the member section of my website. And if you don't want to miss the upcoming episodes, then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video.
and I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck.